So I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like how Martel is trying to hurt or be shady to his own ex-wife. Like, this is really petty and out of control. I feel as though Martel really got to chill. He cannot feel like he's parent of the year just because he didn't miss certain days. Didn't miss the first school functions. Didn't miss the birthdays. Didn't miss the holidays. Okay, that's all fine and cool. But what's more impressive is that you don't miss the, the bonding times that you could have had at home with your wife and your kids, but you decide to go out and be with your side chick. So to me, both are just as important. I'm not going to take away from the fact that he was out, you know, celebrating the first day of school and everything else he mentioned in the caption that he celebrated and seen and didn't miss. But what about those times when you could have been watching like a movie with your kids, but instead you opted to go and be with your side chick? That's the part that you're not understanding. So it's really nothing you can say right now. There's nothing that you can try to make Melanie's character bad or anything like that when you did the ultimate betrayal okay if anybody's character is in question it is yours right now not hers so the fact that you're going to try to throw shade or maybe you wasn't but if it's picking up and it's feeling like shade okay we're going to take it as shade okay so martel please don't do that like it is not that serious because i know you're trying to make it seem like you really love your kids because you didn't miss out on none of their big milestones you know the highlight reels you know the things that you want to instagram about but love should have brought you home last night you know like halle berry said on um boomerang to eddie murphy what do you know about love love should have brought your ass home last night okay if you really 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 loved your kids there wouldn't be like a brother outside of them like a, a sibling outside of them you know what i mean i mean because it's probably a very hard thing to grasp regardless of when you tell kids young or old you know it just probably will make them feel a certain type of way so again i see how people's selfishness like sometimes we just literally only think about our needs our one what's going to make us feel good in the moment but i know one thing for certain two things for sure that little shady maybe a little shade they was trying to throw at melody that didn't make me feel good so that's why i had to speak up on it so yeah let me know what y'all think about that and bravo to the cousin to mel's cousin for saying it like it is because that's how i'm feeling like she breaking it down she said how in 2020 martel didn't you know he didn't buy them the kids any gifts mel had to go and get a christmas tree that's what i'm saying i'm like wait a minute okay of course it's all fine and dandy to be there for your child's first this prom x y and z you know those big milestones but what about the downtime what about the stuff that the camera don't see what about the the moments where it's not on social media that's the thing everybody want to come to your graduation but where was them same people when you needed like money and tuition and you know you need a little you know a little cozy cozy stuff like a little money to help you get through the the trying times of being in college oh child sorry just had a little flashback but that's that's what it really be like so don't be trying to play like your mr dad of the year and like she i'm glad she spoke up and said she never once came at martel as a father that's how i be feeling i'm like you know i ain't gonna try to come at him as a dad it seemed like the kids really love him so for the sake of the kids i'm just going you know think the best or whatever but after trying to be shady like this nah i'm not i'm not with it i'm, I'm really not okay don't be talking about melody's parenting skills okay because I'm, we ain't going to talk about your parenting skills either because the children seem very well adjusted, very smart. Like, obviously, you guys are great parents. Like, I feel like I can't take that away from either one of you guys because your kids are amazing, very bright, well-spoken. You know, there's, so it's just like I know that, you know, what I'm seeing is part you, Martel, and part Melody. So it's just like I, I, I can't take that away from either one of you guys. But I feel like don't be trying to make the other one look worse or anything like that or try to create your own narrative so i'm glad the cousin spoke up and said put some respect on my cousin's name because that's to see this that we ain't not finna do see this what we not finna do because y'all know i like it but other than that i'm glad to know that destiny cleared up the rumors and said that she was not you know going to be a pawn or used to um 
that she wasn't going to be used in the custody battle thing or speak as a character witness for Martell. I'm glad to hear that. She said she got her own stuff to deal with. And okay, sis, right, go ahead and deal with your stuff. More power to you. Yeah, this ain't what you want to get in the mix of. And remember, I did a video on that as well because I'm just like, I hope the state ain't so. Say it ain't so. Destiny, I know you may have had a little falling out with Mel, but look now, you stay out of it. You don't want to get ran over because this could really get messy. So just kind of play a neutral for now. Feelings are heightened. Emotions are heightened at this time. So, you know, just let the parents deal with it. I'm very like to that because at the same time, nobody knows what really, really went on. But them two. Yeah, nobody knows specifically what went on between those two and can speak on it except for Melody and Martell. Of course, you know, your friend, you know, the person that you may be close to may, you know, tell you something from their perspective. But like we all know, it's always your side, their side, and the truth. So I, I get that. You know, when you're closer to one of the people in a couple, I feel like you naturally going to take that person's side. But because they have kids, because it's a marriage and kids, it's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, 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 I ain't going to like speak up when it comes to court and custody for either one of them. Unless I can do both. If I, if I can't do both and I just got to choose one, I, I choose none. <laughs> and let the parents figure it out or whoever or whatever, you know, let it play a house supposed to. I don't want to be on nobody's side, one side in particular or nothing like that. I really feel like those two should be able to work it out amongst each other as far as custody goes but i do want martel to get out his feelings or whatever because we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna do no side digs or whatever and i would feel the same way and melody did did anything like that too you know but you know of course like i don't want to speak too soon but i don't really feel like melody would you know damn martel as a dad because she you know she she wanted it for the sake of the kids and I feel like that's how parents should be, you know? You shouldn't, like, try to put down another parent because it's going to make the kids feel a certain type of way because, like I said, they are part of that parent as well. So we don't need that because a lot of, like, like we all know, we hear about trauma and stuff, childhood trauma, things that we, were, we experienced or was exposed to when we were young and how it affects us in our adulthood. So, uh-uh. When it comes to the kids, we want to try to make their life as peaceful and easy as possible. All right? Okay. Mm hmm because I did hear that too like how most of the time we're just trying to get back to how we were as kids like just to feel good again like you know where it was no care in the world kind of so sometimes we be trying to um find that feeling within relationships you know that feeling where we could just uh, relax our take off our bra feeling at the end of the day take off our wig feeling at the end of the day you know just uh, in somebody's arm at the end of the day but even still even with your partner even if it's a great person you still may not get that uh because remember you know i gotta always bring it you know i'm talking about the bible you know we're supposed to cast our cares on god you know put our rest in him that's when you can get that real uh you know i feel real, real good like you know you can really know that you don't have no care in the world because and god cares for you you know if he take care of the lilies and the fowls of the air how much more he want to take care of you sis or bro you know if you listen to if, if, if there's any men listening to this as well but nevertheless i'm glad that melanie's cousin spoke up you know and i'm piggybacking off of it you know I'm, you know i'm putting my little two cents in because that was not cool and you see how it says that the discovery documents that were required for Martel in the court case were missing. So Martel couldn't even really get a leg up like he wanted to over Melody in this whole custody battle. Or that's what it seems like. So at this point, Martel, leave it alone. Stop trying to make Melody out to be a bad parent or something like that. Whatever you're trying to do, just stop. Just stop. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. I don't know. When you release and let go, I feel like that's when the blessings will come for you. You know, release, let go. God forgives us all. And a new idea could come to you where you can be making as much money as you ever dreamed of or imagined. You know, it just don't, it just don't work to be petty and to be in your feelings. You know, so for the sake of the kids, you know, just try to chill out, relax, and get along with Melody. And everything will be fine for your beautiful children's sake but anyway let me know what y'all think 
Sorry I was in my feelings for a little bit. But, mm-mm. Mm-mm, Martel. You worry about what's going on with the rumors with Sheree, okay? And how she got you out here in the street seeing y'all dating. But allegedly, you mad that she out here seeing that y'all dating. Let that be your focus. You show up to the court dates for the kids and all that other stuff. You know, that's your priority. But if you want to throw shade at something, throw shade in that direction. Mm-hmm. But not this one. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Other than that, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.